Hello everybody, my name is Tanya and today I'm talking about Viride by Orto Parisi. And as always, as with Orto Parisi, a very special blend with a clever personality. It is an aromatic fragrance for women and men, but I think it's more for men than women. Viride was launched in 2014 and the nose behind this is Alessandro Galtieri, like with all the brand. This is very unusual, very green. And this brand has also something special. There's um, very interesting picture down here. Everybody refers to it as a butthole. Butthole on the box inside. It's a word play here. Orto uh, in Argentina means exactly that. But in Italian, it's a vegetable garden. And boxes are identical for all, all the Orto Parisi. Um, and there is a plot twist in the brand concept. The name Orto Parisi is translated as Vegetable Garden of Parisi. Alessandro Galtieri's grandfather. He created th uh, this brand with the purpose to honor his grandfather's memory. He had his garden in the south of it Italy, a land he tended to and apparently loved to care for. And all the fragrance offerings are aspects of the life of Vincenzo Parisi. And through the eyes of his grandson, Alessandro. And what it means for me, I think it can be mistaken. I can be mistaken. It's just my pure speculation. For example, Mega Mare. Um, it could be aroma of Vincenzo on a cloudy beach day after a storm when a ton of algae is still around. Then Stercus. I think this is the one. Yeah. It is manure of Vincenzo uses to fertilize the soil of his garden. And for example, Coyum, this one. Is Vincenzo after a long and exhausting day of working, probably try, uh, tying up tomato bushes to the poles so they don't fall into the mud before they turn red? It's my imagination. <laughs> Maybe Viride is when he's milking a cow? Yes, it could be my pure imagination. And don't take it seriously. I smell a faint lactonic undertone in it. Well, we'll get to it just in a minute. I, when I first sprayed it, when I first tried it, oud and absent in the opening of this composition, pulled it right away. And for me, on the first 10 minutes, they were just uh, taking all the, the roll. Only then bitter herbs and grass comes out to play after 10, 15 minutes. It smells, it, this fragrance smells like a leprechaun for me. <laughs> I don't know why. It's witty, sneaky, sarcastic, and a very clever character in that dusty vest with money obsession. He'll make you pay whether you owe it 
owe him or not. And uh, there's also booze in this fragrance and booze plays a major role in the leprechaun's games. In the fragrance, there is also detectable violet for me. Maybe it mixes up with tobacco and powdery flower pollen for that dusty aspect, but it doesn't bother me. Sometimes I don't like dusty scents. Um, they're smo smoothing grassy juices. You know when you break up dandelions, there's like white bitter liquid in it, some faint hay accord. It probably smells like a process of milking a cow on a spring day. I'm not really sure. I've never did that. But there is a faraway lactonic smoothness and a little animalic accord from light wooden musk. And at the same time, there is uh, some fresh cut grass that you probably feed to the cow um, as, as well. She, you're milking it and she's still eating. I don't know. She's still eating that fresh cut grass. So interesting. Alessandro Galtieri, the nose. <sighs> yeah, the main character. Uh, was traveling through Yemen and got inspired by herbal crowns on men. There is a tradition connected to that ritual he saw. And those weaved crowns of flowers and herbs mixed with the sweat of the high heat produces a very unique aroma. It says there is sage thyme and rosemary in those crowns and uh, it is the only hint we have of the notes of the real notes uh, in viride because never ortoparisi shows any notes all of the fragrances are concepts so you whether you like it or not it doesn't matter the notes for me, this beauty is also woody. It's very unique and interesting process actually to decipher this fragrance. And the dry down of Viride on my skin is a surprise and love. It's a sweetened amber. This is very interesting what it turned to. An herbal twist almost feel like icy hot muscle tension cream, the icy hot cream. And at times it's cooling, but the next moment it kind of warms up again. Yes, it's not as nuclear beast mode as the other Ortoparisi or even Nasomatos, Galtieri's other brand, more famous brand. But I deeply appreciate this graceful base he created, apparently, I think just for Viride. By the way, yes, I definitely stand by the oud that is present here. In fact, he admitted that all of the Orto Parisi have some, um, some kind of oud in them. The most prominent, it is on start here. That's interesting. Then it goes kind of far away to the background as a backbone, but it's still there. It's still there. Maybe even tobacco note, it is hidden from my nose like most of the times. It depends on the weather, but that light smoky oud European style is present. It even reminds me, <laughs> reminds me of one of my favorite oud fragrances ever created, Sweetie Oud by Roja Dove. I have it here. <laughs> Sweetie Oud by Roja Dove. 
that particular note is very gentle and smooth and delicate here, the oud. You know, many people don't even smell oud in this fragrance also, but it's not just in the notes, it's on the label. So it's definitely in there, no joke. Sweetie Oud is constructed around the accord of Oud, around this material. It's probably the best gourmand fragrance for me, personally. Musical association. There is a lot going on in Viride, including percussion instruments, bagpipes, sounds of puffing of a um, smoking pipe, and there's a male chorus of many voices, a lot, maybe 12 or maybe even more. Every type of masculine voice is in here. The lead singer is bass baritone, representing that musky oud. They're all telling a folk story, an olden day fairy tale story. Not sure which one, maybe even a very unique one, a regional legend from let's say 17th century. There's definitely a wicked witch present, which sounds of, I think she sounds like a bubbling cauldron and she produces female laughter from time to time. She also has some wording in the performance and has an amazing, magical voice, a mix of field flowers, maybe chamomile and wormwood. I think Ellie Golding's voice is the best for this role. But she is here the main trouble. Viride sounds similar to me to maybe a Wagner play if he lived and created nowadays. And it's not a full-on op opera. It is not a, an opera. It's mostly without bel canto vocals. Only in the end, when that amber pulls out, she, the witch, starts to vocalize in the, that coloraturic soprano, trying to plead, don't burn me, don't burn me. And they still do. They burn the witch down in the bonfire. <laughs> it's funny. Very interesting fragrance that provokes fantasy thoughts. Performance and depth. As I say, it is not a beast mode as the other from the line. The projection is quite moderate, but very dense. I love the sillage of this beauty. And after about two to three hours, it becomes a little closer to the skin, but it doesn't really stop me from sniffing my man's neck. It's so calming and relaxing, inviting. Very easy to stay in this cuddly bubble on the couch and maybe watch a horror movie. If, if your lady likes this fragrance, it could be an amazing um, date night fragrance actually. By the way, Viride has amazing trail in the wind. And when it rises up in your jacket on a windy day to your nose, like if you spray it on your belly, for example, it will kind of rise through the shirt. Oh my, this effect is just stunning. If the coat isn't zipped, of course. In the moderate to hot, even hot temperature, you'll feel that. There's this genius contrast of cool and warm notes in Viride. I have to warn everyone, it's not a blind buy. 
at all. The wormwood, that absent note, is very present here. Some people are just not into it. They, they don't like that note at all. Uh, and there's a little that musky oud and a boatload of kitchen herbs. You have to be prepared for this. It's interesting, very interesting. I'd say in, in the air, in, it is more mass appealing, but still beware of some poking compliments uh, from certain groups of people. Viride is a work of art to be admired to. Theoretically, any man who likes it and has enough confidence can wear it. Maybe it's not suited for younger crowd, but if you really love it, you can give it a try. And even in your early 20s, um, you, you see, you'll see if you like it. It is not a grandpa style fragrance at all. It's exceptionally niche. That's why you need to smell a lot to appreciate certain notes in here. I also easily can imagine even a teenager wearing it on stage, maybe playing a guitar. It has to be an arty individual uh, to wear it in the young years to really pull it off. Otherwise, I think it could not add up. So guys, did you try any of Orto Parisi? What do you think about Viride? Is it safe for office? I think it is, but proceed with caution. Definitely amazing for a stroll in the park with kids, maybe running errands and using for personal enjoy enjoyment. Uh, and as for the special occasions, there, there are better choices. There are better choices for special occasions. Unless you're very, it's you, the special occasion. It's your birthday and you really love this fragrance. Or if you want to stand out in the crowd. Write down your thoughts about um, how to use art objects uh, of fragrance industry. I'll read those comments with my pleasure. <laughs> and please like this video and subscribe if you're not. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon, guys. Don't forget to enjoy life every day and smell good every day and inspire others to do the same. See you soon. Bye-bye.